Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher and this is my garden. Okay, so I just wanted to do a short update on uh, what happened since uh, my last video. I have to excuse my voice. Uh, I have a really sore throat. Um, I have the, had a great cold coming in, so uh, you just have to bear with me. I'll try to, to speak up clear. And uh, we got some mail today, and we're gonna take a look at that. And we also have to look at the new behemoth <laughs> noisy engine we have uh, running inside the, the, the grow room. Uh, yeah, we, we're gonna take a look at that uh, later. I just wanted to show off uh, a couple of things uh, since last week. These are um, the um, peanuts, yeah. Uh, they sprouted really fast and uh, they have been growing like crazy. I probably should transplant these uh, almost right away. So that's going to be for, uh, for tomorrow. And uh, I, uh, it was, I think it was three, uh, no, two out of three sprouted. So that was, uh, that was pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm satisfied with that. And we also got some red tomatoes. This is the Microtom tomato, which is, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me. I have to say I agree with, um, with Ray on this. It's, it's kind of a stupid plant. <laughs> it's just this high and it puts out 10 tomatoes, five tomatoes. And uh, yeah, I don't know if they even taste good, but I'm, uh, I'm gonna bring one in to my girlfriend and uh, we're gonna have a taste, taste test. So, uh, and the other thing that I did uh, last episode, I think it was last episode, I'm not sure. I had some, um, some um, lemongrass that I bought at the store. And yeah, they sprouted and they are kind of growing. So, I'm gonna get in closer so you can see the, the roots. Just hang on. I don't know if you can see, it's probably too dark. But they are putting out roots everywhere. And it uh, looks good, it looks promising. So um, that's probably gonna go in, uh, in this, uh, this grow box uh, behind here. I'm gonna rip out some of these uh, uh, spring onions that I had growing. I'm not that satisfied with uh, how they turned out, so um, yeah, that's, um, that's gonna be something that we're sacrificing for these. And uh, we have some peppers starting to form. This is the Pepperoni Lombardo. Um, it's putting out uh, a couple of nice fruits. Um, the plant itself is not healthy at all, so I don't know why it keeps hanging on to these fruits, but uh, they are growing a centimeter every day. So uh, yeah, something has to be right with it, but uh, it, it has the, the pepper leaf edema. So you can see like on the, on the um, uh, underside of the leaves, they get, um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll post a picture. Um, I'll, I'll put in a picture at the end of the video to show off what it looks like. It looks like, almost like white sugar uh, underneath um, the, the leaves. And that's um, a good sign that you're watering uh, too much. So it's, uh, it's been uh, having too much water in, uh, in the soil and uh, it just takes it up and um, the leaf uh, and the plant cannot uh, contain uh, all the water that it's uh, pulling out of the soil. So all those little veins uh, in the leaf starts to, to pop and that's, uh, that's what causes uh, it to look like uh, sugar. So, but anyway, <laughs> this is a living example that uh, even an almost dead plant can produce fruits. So um, <laughs> I think I should be fine with everything else here. This one uh, is also putting out fruit. This is, um, oh, I never remember. Is it the, it's the pepperoncini. And uh, it's putting out some, some nice fruits now. They've been coming the, the last couple of days. And uh, I'm, I'm really expecting this to, to have some nice fruits. This one, this is the, um, the California Bell. It's putting out this huge fruit. I have, uh, actually I think I have three of those. 
Uh, maybe s uh, I have three. I, I cut one way back because it was a little bit too yellow because of watering problem. So, but uh, two of these now are producing fruits like crazy, and um, hopefully they're gonna grow um, grow to be uh, nice sized fruits. They, I think they're supposed to be uh, a normal sized bell pepper. So. Um, they have a long way to go, but uh, I have them under these um, this, um, uh, very, very strong uh, lead grow lights. So hopefully they will um, produce the fruits uh, of right size. And it's supposed to be yellow, so <laughs> yeah, we'll just have to see. Okay, um, the next thing that I wanted to show is this newest edition. Um, I... I have so much growing here and it takes me forever to water because I have, um, you can probably not see it now, but I have um, up here I have a heating pump which is blowing air and circulating and it's really really hot in here. Um, I don't know, it's, it's uh, 28 degrees Celsius, about 28 degrees Celsius. So um, it, it dries out really fast and I have to water uh, almost every day I have to water some of the plants and uh, it takes me forever with this little hand can that I have. So um, I, I have uh, on the other side of the room I have a 200 liter tank which um, I have a hose from the main house up here uh, but uh, it's, it's like this much snow, uh, maybe more, outside. So the hose will freeze. It's, it's um, in the ground, but it's not more like this. And uh, then it's going to fr freeze solid. So I can only pump uh, once a month or something. I, I will fill up the, the 200 liter tank. And I also have uh, several other smaller uh, cans. So total 300 liters. So I pump that once a month and I, I clear out the hose. And then I use that water to, to water the plants. But... I wanted to, to see if I could do something crazy and, uh, and get rid of the whole thing. So I wanted to, to be able to, to just have regular water on tap. So I got this pump. It was uh, actually it was really cheap. I bought it in a Norwegian retail which uh, only sells cheap crap. But uh, it works as long as it works. So we will just have to see how long it lasts. And this will, um, this will start automatically uh, when, um, when um, the pressure goes below one bar. And then it will pump up to 2.8 bar pressure. And then it will slowly decrease as you use the, the water. So uh, this will always stay on. And um, it, will, it will just continue to pump um, yeah, when it needs to. So what I've done, I've uh, hooked this up to, um, I I'm just using um, a small 25 liter tank, which I mix the nutrients in, and then uh, it all pumps through this. I don't know if that's a smart idea, but uh, I'm thinking I'm just gonna try it and see if it uh, will just uh, tear apart inside or if it will stay. It's, it's not that much pressure, so I'll take the chances. And then I have uh, nutrients flowing out of this uh, at the end. So uh, we will just uh, see if it works. Oh. Yep. And that is the simplest, simplest way I could ever imagine doing this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's nutrients. And uh, it's, um, it's a nice addition. It saves me a lot of time and uh, I, I, maybe you guys have any idea if that's going to be a good solution or, or how long I could have the nutrients uh, in um, pre-mixed. Uh, if it will stay, if, uh, I will use about 25 liters. I, I would say it, it doesn't last me many days because I have um, so many things growing and uh, it's such a large area. So... I will run through that in uh, within days, um, a few days. So uh, hopefully it will be okay. I, I don't know what's going on inside this one, but um, um, I, probably it will slowly deteriorate. But um, yeah, we will just have to see. And the next thing, I got some mail today. This was uh, something I ordered and this was from a friend. Yes, I got some Swedish mail. Uh, I think I'm going to open this first. 
This was from um, from uh, a friend uh, here on YouTube, and uh, she's from Sweden, and she sent me some seeds and the letter. That's for me. I'm gonna read that later. She wow. She sends me a lot of seeds for all kinds of crazy things. Uh, yeah, this this was uh, this was the one that I was really excited about. Uh, she told me this was actually um, a Canadian pepper, uh, which was grown to be um, really good for the northern climates, uh, where we have cooler summers. This is called the King of North. I've never heard of it before, but I'm definitely going to grow this outside this summer and see uh, how long it will produce. And um, she also sends me a, a couple of uh, other things. Um, yeah, it's paprika and uh, Thai black. Wow, I like that. Uh, and uh, the sweet Nardello. Um, I guess it's the same as the Jimmy Nardello, which I already have going here somewhere. Um, I think it's over on that bench. I have two plants. So, but I will definitely grow those also to see if it's uh, the same thing. And um, one type of uh, tomato I can see. The blood sweet cherry. I'm gonna grow that also. This uh, that's gonna go in um, this spot right here because um, I haven't had that luck with uh, my tomatoes this far, and uh, you know why if you watch the episodes. But um, we will try to correct that, and uh, of course uh, the new one is gonna grow um, much better. This one I got from uh, Pepperlover.com. Um, I think that's the name of it. Um, I've got a bunch of seeds. <laughs> these, uh, these are all uh, hot pepper seeds. Um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna eat any of those. Uh, I'm probably gonna send them to Dave over at his channel and he can do a review. Because uh, I have no idea if I can uh, do that. But um, I have something uh, called like the Ahi Oro Rokoto. And I have orange starfish, I have white peach, I have uh, bell of Lebanon, I have ahi amarillo, I have uh, Ungar, uh, Ung <coughs> Uruguay seasoning, I have ahi melocoton, um, Colombian yellow, yeah, I have all sorts of things. And um, I think I'm going to try to grow one plant for from everyone. And uh, just see uh, which of the plants I like the most and I'm gonna continue to grow those because this is a lot of seeds and I'm, I'm not gonna be able to use all of them uh, at once but um, I'm gonna try to grow a few because uh, I don't know if I dare to taste those but um, I know some friends over at uh, the pepper lover community that will probably love to taste those so um, I'm gonna do most of these for them and the rest I'm, I'm gonna try to make a hot sauce I've, uh, I've seen Kangstar do this over at his channel on YouTube and uh, I, I just want to try it because uh, it looks good. It looks scary good, but um, I'm gonna try those. So uh, yeah, that's the short midweek, almost midweek, one day from, uh, update on the garden. And um, we will see if we have something more interesting coming up this uh, weekend and um, until then. I'll uh, see you later and please post comments uh, and if you have any questions, something you want to see, see me do, see me grow, see me whatever, I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do it and um, I, um, yeah, I will get to work, I'm going to plant a few seeds now and uh, I think my, um, my voice is starting to fade out so um, until next time, may the force be with you, okay. I noticed one of the tomatoes is starving. It's really dry. Oh, I'm gonna get some bad comments, some thumbs down on this. But uh, yeah, we will just see. If, if I just hide it, maybe nobody will see it. I can just try that as a technique. I don't know how much it needs, but uh, yeah. Oh, camera relic. Sorry.